welcome. Um, yes, I've actually moved one of the one of my electric wheels from outside in the big garage place where where you've seen me making the clips for the last few times. Um, I've decided that you know just for me working on my own there's no point in me having to go out there and heat up the whole of that big space just when all I really need is a space a wheel for a wheel and you know a few shelves where I can comfortably make some ceramics and pots on the wheel so I decided to bring a wheel in here to this little room I'm going to give you a very quick guided tour um, I mean there's not there isn't that much to to see really it's basically just just this room here uh, coming over there along that corridor I've got just here on the side a, a small chest of drawers which I use for kneading up the clay and basically that's it so let's move the camera a little bit over here I've got some things I just wanted to uh, I actually threw them not so long ago well I say not so long ago I mean I only just threw them um, sometime around about two th two to three o'clock this afternoon um, you saw me throw throw them at least I hope I hope that that clip has been uploaded and that was I was making some of these small um, candle holders the only the only difference being was that I this was an idea in fact I didn't make this one myself this was made by somebody else but I, I quite like the design for its simplicity and because it's uh, easy to pick up you see Remember, when you're making any kind of plate or saucer, you need to have enough depth there to be able to get your fingers in underneath, you see, to be able to make it user-friendly so you can lift it up. This is not made by me, but I saw it and I quite liked it, and I thought, and I, I had the idea to adapt it and make a make one that had a flattened side to it so I could put a hole in it and I could put it up to the wall anyway that's where you've caught me right now because because uh, what I need to do is I'll just come a little bit closer not that we're not that we're actually really going to be working on the wheel but um, Sort of having the wheel as the centre of focus at the moment. I just need to need to look for something. And just at the point with these, in fact, I may, I don't know if I'm going to be able to thumb them off on, on the bottoms here, they're still a bit soft. But this, this bit along the back here, um, I want to just paddle, you see, because put a hole put a hole in there I'm a, perhaps a little bit a little bit premature in doing these right now I could wait a bit longer but well I thought see these go up against the wall I don't know if you can see that like that or well, they're, 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 they're They'll go on a nail or a hook, you see. Or they're multifunction, they could just go on the table like that. Just an idea I had. Um, 
occasionally have ideas. <laughs> so I'm going to. What I'm really wanting to do at the moment is to paddle these because if these are left too much longer, because of course always the, the rims, rims go harder quicker than the what's inside. So, um, uh, in fact, I, I think I'll probably um, put the holes in tomorrow, but I just wanted to get these like that, you see, so they're dead flat. Now's the time to do that, you see, if you've got a paddle, good paddle, as you see. This is a special key practicing paddle. <laughs> So, as you know, I'm a keep practicing potter. I think you probably realise that by now. But we all have to be, don't we? Keep practicing potters. Good. See that will just go to a place on the wall if you have a place where you want it. It's always good to see if you have a, a candle with a, a white wall as a background, it, it reflects the light, doesn't it? That's what we want, have that reflected light so we can time of year for a little bit of candle cheer. Yeah. I kind of guessed a bit with the, the size of the hole that I put in here. And I tried to sort of taper the hole a little bit so that in the eventuality it might be able to take variety of sizes of candles being slightly tapered. Well it makes such a difference you know being having this little place to come here to and say now don't know what the time is, what's the time? Uh, Ten past nine in the evening. Like say outside it's like freezing and below, it's probably about 32 degrees in the garage out there, the garage at the moment. Whereas in here, and I haven't had to put on any heating, it is, what is it, 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 it's 60 degrees. Well, I tell a lie actually, I just put on a very economical small little radiator just for the just for the, my time up here right now, but it was actually about 58 degrees before. So this room kind of stays, stays reasonably warm, partly is because on the wall here to my right, behind this dry wall, there is the chimney breast from downstairs, and the fires are light downstairs, and what I've got, I'll show you just for your amusement. I don't know if you can see that. Up there, you see that, you see that, um, uh, I don't know if I can zoom in a bit. But that's a hole in the dry wall there. And you see right down there by the floor, there's a skirting board and there's a hole down there. And what I did was, uh, that thing that you see hanging down there is in the actual fact in actual fact one of these small little one of these small fans so I have the fan up there like that you see and I plug it in here so with the pla with the fan plugged in okay it's blowing out here warm air 
And that's because down below where that hole is by the skirting board down there, it's drawing in cold air at the base. It's heating it up inside this dry wall area. There's only a very much, about that much room between the chimney and the dry wall, which is creating a convection effect. So it naturally, even without the, without the, the fan, it naturally convects and comes out. But the fan is just to give it a bit of turbo. And you know what? I can put that in here, plug that in, I can come up here of an evening and it's actually, as I say, 58 degrees, so not too bad, I say. What? Yeah, I was very pleased with that, actually. Now then, what have I got to show you? I've got here, I'm wearing, you've probably seen me, seen it advertised on my, but I've got a t-shirt made with the keep practicing um, Simon says, keep practicing, and there's a picture of me there, um, kneading up some clay. <laughs> so, these t-shirts, these if you go to my website, and I've got a new website now, it's simonleachpottery.com, not simonleachceramics.com. If you, if you go there, it's a dead end, it doesn't go anywhere. So go to the Simon Leach Pottery, and if you, if you want to buy a a short sleeve, these are short sleeve t-shirts, they're only this colour and they're $25 including postage and handling um, within the US. If you are international, somebody say from Europe and you're interested in a t-shirt, please write to me okay, at simon.leach6 at gmail.com and um, I'll be able to uh, quote to you some postage rates. <laughs> okay, so uh, tomorrow these little um, I think they look quite could look quite nice, couldn't it? With a little candle here, see the light reflecting off the wall. It's also, so, uh, although I said earlier on you can lift it like that, it's actually something you can sort of, something to hold on to as well, you know. I suppose what you could do, I don't know what it would look like, but you could put two together like that, couldn't you? you could put two together there. If you wanted to put them on the table, maybe. Sur la table, as they say in France. Bienvenue à tous les, les poitiers de la France. <laughs> Welcome to all French potters. Potters of the world ignite wherever you're from, as my good older brother Johnny says to me. Simon says, don't forget to say potters of the world ignite. <laughs> so I quote him on that one. Anyway, okay folks, well, Simon says, keep practicing. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We'll do some more, maybe finishing off these can candle holders, etc. As I say, I, I don't actually, I don't actually call them candle sticks because they don't, they're not really sticks, are they? they? They're more like just a candle holder. Anyway, okay, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.